Hello everybody, my name is Longer James, you can call me either one. In this video I'm going to show you guys the cheapest way to do the Broken Card event. The Broken Card event is a mid-tier event that is about as difficult as the Two Skull Zones and is one of the easiest events next to the Fallen Knight event. It is currently the only way to get a horse and has two major loot parts, a dead horse and a broken cart that is in the center of the map. The enemies you will find there are the same ones you will find in two skull zones except you won't find any witches there. There is always one damn knight that usually protects the dead horse or the broken cart. Be careful as other exiles and damn knights can spawn from off the map. For weapons, be sure to have at least a one-handed sword and a club. If you are a little more wealthy you should bring a morning star or a flanged mace and a carthill if you have the combat mastery or a spiked mace. Killing damn knights with a one-handed sword is easy enough if you've practiced stutter stepping. It would only take about 4 or 5 fried leeks or 3 to 4 pieces of jerky to kill a damn knight. And always remember to top off with berries. For armor, a full set of tier 2 armor minus the shoes since shoes don't provide any armor is the most efficient use of resources. Only wear the hat and gloves while you're trying to fight a damn knight if you want to save the most resources. Just be careful of random spawning exiles while you have less armor on, as they can run up on you very quickly before you can put the extra armor on. For healing items, 20 jerky or fried leek should be more than enough, even if a couple extra damn knights or exiles spawn. But if you're worried about them, just bring another 10 jerky or fried leeks. There will be berries around the location to top off your health, so don't waste your higher quality healing items just to heal up after fighting lepers, damned, and direwolves. You will need them for burst healing against exiles and damn knights. To tame the horse, you must first have your stable completed and sneak up on it and then press the interaction button. This may fail and the horse may run away and you will have to find a new horse at a different broken card event. Note that the horse you tame will be your horse permanently unless you plan to spend money and get a different horse at the merchant. So don't try to tame it unless you want that color of horse. You can always just keep stocking up your oats and feed it to the horse you really want once you get it. You can only get a white or black horse, or a horse with more than 100 energy capacity from merchants by trading your horse and some dollars. That's all for this video. If you guys liked it, please make sure to hit that like button and share the video. If you want to keep watching videos like this, subscribe. I'm planning on making some newbie guides to specifically help people struggling on what to bring to and from one skull and two skull zones, so stay tuned for those by hitting the bell for notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.